think I'll just have another five minutes. Oh, up now. Why do we have to get up so early? You know why. We've got a very important guest arriving at 5.30. What time is it now? One past five. That's not one past. That's five past. How many times do I have to tell you? The little hand points at the hour, the big hand points at the minutes. So when it says one, it's actually five past. Five past? It's a lot to have to take in so early in the morning. Look, the clock face is divided into 12 fives. All right, 12 fives are 60. So what have you got if you've got 60 minutes? Time to put my feet up. You get an hour. Oh, thank you very much. Come back here. You said I had an hour. Look, the one is five and the two is ten. So it's not two past ten? No, it's ten past. See, five, ten. So when he gets to three, it'll be 15 minutes past. Right. And would it be confusing things to say it would also be a quarter past? No, but we haven't got time to go into that right now. Let's tidy up a bit. Half past five. I wonder where they are. It's 25 to six now. Or oh, 5.35. Show off. It's 22. Or oh, 5.40. Now it's quarter two or 15 minutes to. 10 to. It's five minutes to. <sighs> Doesn't time fly when you're busy? Now it's six o'clock. Where's our important guest got to? He was due at half past five. Who is it anyway? Can you keep a secret? I don't know, I've never tried. You'll find out soon enough anyway. It's only... <laughs> the Prime Minister. Get away! It is. Look, he's here in the book. In the manager's own handwriting. Very important guest arriving at 5.30. Where does it say Prime Minister? There, look. P.M. That means Prime Minister. It also means 5.30 in the afternoon. 5.30 p.m. You know what this means, don't you? It means we've got up 12 hours too early. No, it means I get another few hours in bed while you hold the fort. Hey, wait a 60 seconds. 